When a piston engine's running, spark plugs are firing and the propeller is turning. But the electricity for the spark plugs doesn't come from the battery, it comes from independent components called magnetos. Because they're independent, you could have a complete electrical system failure and the spark plugs would keep on firing. As far as the engine goes, the only thing I need the battery for is to turn the starter motor. Now listen closely. Clear! When I gaze the starter, we hear a clicking sound. Everyone with a conventional engine hears it, but not everyone knows what it is. Let's go into the hangar and in 60 seconds, I'll explain. To produce the electrical pulse, the magneto has to turn at a high speed. Now that's easy to do when the engine's running, but when the engine RPM is low as it is during the start sequence, the magneto needs an extra boost to spin it up fast enough to create the necessary high voltage current. And that requires a specific component on the magneto called an impulse coupling. My good friend Tryon Wilson is here to show us exactly how that works. The impulse coupling is attached to the shaft of the magneto, and as the engine rotates, it compresses a spring in the impulse coupling. When it reaches a certain point, it releases a cam and allows it to spin the magneto very quickly to generate that high voltage that we need to start the engine. And there's where that click comes from. Now, when the engine's running, why don't we hear that sound? Because there is an eccentric weight inside the impulse coupling that will disengage the impulse coupling once the engine is running at a normal RPM. Well, okay, there you go. The clicking mag mystery solved in 60 seconds. Very cool, Tryon, thanks. You know, I love learning new stuff, and I hope you do too. Want to learn more cool stuff about airplanes? Come visit us at groundschool.com.